Hi, kids. Today we will learn how animals are adapted to very cold climates of polar regions. So let's start. We now know habitat is an environment in which an animal or plant normally grows and lives. It provides them food, water, and space to live. A habitat can be a home to many types of organisms. Different types of organisms have different features that help them to survive in their habitat. That is, they are adapted for their habitat. Let's see how plants and animals are adapted for very cold and dry climate of polar regions. Let's first learn about penguins. Penguins live in Antarctica, which is southern polar region and is extremely cold as it is covered with snow. Let's see how penguins adapt. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. Penguins are adapted to swim fast. They have webbed feet for powerful swimming. Their bodies are streamlined. Their wings are shaped like flippers that help them to fly underwater. Penguins need to keep them warm as their habitat is Antarctica, which is extremely cold. They have very thick skin with lots of fat stored under the skin that keeps them warm. Penguins huddle together in groups of hundreds or thousands so as to keep them warm. Penguins have black feathers that absorb heat from the sun and keep them warm. Moreover, feathers of penguins are tightly packed and overlap each other that provides waterproofing and warmth too. And waterproofing is a must for penguins in order to survive in the cold water. Arctic seas can be as cold as minus 2.2 degrees Celsius. Penguins are birds, but they don't have hollow bones. Penguins have solid bones that enables them to stay underwater. So these are some of the adaptations of penguins in order to adapt to its habitat, which is cold and frozen. Now let's see how polar bears are adapted for its habitat. Polar bears lives in very cold or extremely cold Arctic. Then how do they survive there? Polar bears have a very thick layer of fat under their skin that gives them warmth. They also have a thick layer of fur that too gives them warmth. The thick layer of fur is white. That helps them to camouflage in the snow and easily catch their prey as their preys are not able to detect them. They also have very large, wide paws that helps them to walk on snow. And their fur coat is very greasy and sheds after swimming and keeps them warm. Polar bears have excellent sense of smell that helps them to find their prey. Now, let's see how plants are adapted to polar regions. Only small shrubs and mosses are grown in this area that grow close to the ground that protects them from freezing cold wind. They always grow in clumps that protects them from wind and cold. The plants grown here are very dark in color to absorb solar heat and their roots are not deep as they cannot penetrate the hard ice. Roots are very shallow and widespread. 
Now let's learn about one more adaptation of animals in polar regions, which is hibernation. Hibernation is deep sleep to save energy. Animals in the polar regions mostly hibernate. That is, they go into deep sleeps for months and come out only in summers. And some animals migrate to warmer areas and come back when in summer season. So kids, we learned about some of the adaptations made by animals and plants in very cold regions. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye.